All right, guys. Here is uh, here's the Hobart mixer. This here is the Hobart C210 mixer that I I have but never used before because uh, you'll you'll see what condition it's in. It's not in a usable condition, but it still works. So uh, here it is. This is what it looks like. This is my uh, grandpa's shop. That's where it's currently sitting right now. It's probably been moved around a few times, but eh, nothing, nothing um, major happened. So yeah, there it is. That's the condition that it was when I first got it back uh, in 2016 or 17. I don't remember when. Um, so yeah, uh, as you can see, it needs new paint, which I plan on painting it like, um, copper or gold. I don't know. I want to do something different because there's like millions of gray Hobart mixers. Like gray is, uh, the main color of, um, of Hobart. I'm touching the tablet so, you know, it doesn't shut off. But yeah, you know, gray is the main color of Hobart. But people have bought their own Hobart mixers and painted them different colors. So that's what I'm going to do with this mixer. I plan on painting it like, uh, you know, like a, like what I said, either gold or or um, or um, uh, copper. Yeah, that's what it was. So yeah, it's. Uh, my dad, my dad, uh, I I brung this up while um, after making a Hobart mixer video on my channel already during uh, during the the, um, the fourth Jefferson City arc, and I I brung up my uh, this mixer and he said that he'll, he has to like uh, you know pick it up from my grandpa's shop and just take it to uh, somewhere else for it to be restored. Um, hopefully that's sooner than later because I I really really want to use this thing so much it's so cool and it'll be so nice to just use this uh, it's been it's been so long so I bought this and I've never been able to use it so yeah it's uh you know it's um it's it's a uh, planetary gear you know it's uh it's not the best. It does spin, but it's it, it you know it barely spins. It just uh, this is how it moves. It just when you turn when you turn it on, it's just uh, you know it it does this. It, it it rotates, but it stops multiple times. And yeah, it, it stops. You can you can definitely tell the the things that the 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 thing that the gears inside are completely stripped well not completely stripped but they are stripped so yeah this thing is missing a dough hook and it needs a a new paddle i don't like the paddle the beater you know i don't think it i don't think it's actually made for this it's much smaller than than the nor than other paddles i've seen on this mixer uh so i'm led to believe that that um the paddle I got was actually for it's a little mini five quart bowl that that um, come with these mixers, but I don't have that, so that paddle is kind of useless. So I had to buy another paddle that actually reaches down into the bowl and stuff. I haven't put the the paddle beater on the mixer when I fir when I first had it in my house for the first time and stuff to test it out. I, it was just it was just there. I didn't put anything on it. it so yeah, um, it's kind of rusty and crap like that. But if it's the right paddle, then I'm just uh, I hope to just uh, remove the rust and stuff, so I don't have to buy a new one. And the whisk, the whisk, it, it comes with its whisk, but it only has like two or four wires that are still attached to it. So yeah, it needs a new wire whisk. So yeah. So yeah, it just needs a dough hook and a new wire whisk. I think the beater is is uh, save is uh, you know it's uh, it can be saved. It's forgeable. So yeah, there it is. I was originally going to make this uh, screen recorded video. So at the at the beginning of the video was kind of was kind of just there, 
The reason why is because I was originally going to make a screen recorded video that would go with this and just talk about it for a little bit. But yeah, but since I'm not going to do that now, I'm just going to tell you, um, I'm just going to tell you the story of this thing. Basically, there's one time where me and my my mom wanted to go to the antique shop that's like close to uh, it's close to my grandma's trailer park, and it's close to that microwave tower I filmed recently. You know, it's on I-44. It's close to St. James and stuff. We went there to check out the place. I was kind of bored. I already know that there's two levels. There's uh, upstairs and downstairs. Upstairs uh, had all the cool stuff, so I went upstairs to find um, some cool things. And one of the first things I seen when I went over, then when I went up there, was this thing here. I was just like, holy sh! I I need this thing. I I want this thing. This here is awesome. Before I even seen this mixer, I already know what it was. Um, there's a there's a there's a YouTuber who's fairly active nowadays that has two of these Hobart C two tens. And he uses them and stuff. I got to see him make things with them and all that stuff. So yeah, I already know what that what what they were and stuff. And I also looked them up a few times before I seen the mixer myself. So knowing that I always wanted a Hobart mixer for myself, I was just like, you know, this might not be the one that I wanted for the longest time, but it's a Hobart mixer. It's big. It's ten quart. I can find a use for this. I can, this is, this would be a part of my collection. I only have like, at this time, I only had like one, yeah, only one, I only have my mom's pink KitchenAid mixer. And then um, we bought this. And then during the time it was just sitting in my grandpa's shop where um, my aunt um, gave me her blue KitchenAid artisan mixer because she wasn't using it and I want I always wanted a blue my own kitchen aid mixer that was a blue and since my aunt didn't have any use for her kitchen aid mixer she gave it to me and when we when we came home from a vacation so from we came home from like a Florida Christmas vacation back in back in December 2017 so yeah it was pretty nice so um so yeah, we got the pink KitchenAid, we got the, the middle oldest child, or the oldest sibling of the three, the Hobart, and then we got my, we got my, my phone that just dropped, but like I was saying, we got the, my mom's pink KitchenAid artisan, we got the, the middle mixer here, which is the, the Hobart C210, which will eventually be the copper C210. And then we got my uh, my uh, blue KitchenAid Artisan mixer. So yeah, it's a win-win. I also got a few hand mixers. That's all my collection. So yeah, one of the hand mixers are dead, but I still have it in my room. So yeah, it's collection. Collection is collection. All right. So yeah, there is the Hobart mixer. I was I was so lucky with this. Like, I found it and stuff. It was only like 72 or 74 $73, I don't know. It was somewhere in the 70 range. It, it was uh, pretty cheap for what it really was. Like, this thing can be worth a lot. I would easily sell it and make, uh, I would make a lot of money off this thing if I was not a mixer enthusiast, but it's a Hobart mixer. I'm a mixer enthusiast. I always wanted my own Hobart mixer, so it's a keeper. I'm keeping this thing. It even has a hub on it too. Yes, mixers back then had hubs on them. If you don't know what they are, they're basically uh, basically you put the put other things on like shredders. You're able to put blenders on them, pasta uh, pasta mixers makers and all that crap. So yeah. Uh, I don't have any of those attachments. I don't plan on buying any. I'm only going to use this one for looks, along with um, big batches of stuff. So that's that's what the use of this thing's going to be. So yeah, there it is. Uh, that's my Hobart C210. 
and I'll see you guys later and bye.